yeah, I'm exci uh, excited for the weather. So I'm just uh, want to see some Marvel zombies. And then um, I guess they did say that this was uh, T'Challa's or T'Challa. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I know, right? I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> but, it's uh, Chadwick uh, Boseman's final. Yeah, uh, yeah. Kind of thing that he's done for Marvel is uh, was vo voicing the the Star Lord T'Challa character in this What If. Uh, series so uh yeah kind of excited to see that uh whole thing i've seen the funko pops already for them and they look pretty cool um the the one thing i'm more excited for i think is uh the marvel zombies though that's kind of what zombies I looks cool there were a couple cool ideas i saw in there um honestly i'm always happy to get anything howard the duck because i love howard the duck yeah there was some uh just yeah, brief kind of yeah some he'll have some i guarantee it'll be a little little thing uh marvel zombies is always i mean marvel zombies is just one of those genre defining you know what i mean i mean uh what is the what is the dc one uh deceased is basically just Mar dc's version of that and it's it was one of the big things because for a long time you didn't have zombies in comics you know what i mean you had that whole comic ban on zombies and so or the undead and that's why you got mobius the living vamp you know what i mean you had that whole uh time period and so then when that came out early 2000s it was a really cool thing for people who like things like zombies in comics and i think that i think it's inspired a lot i honestly wouldn't be surprised if other zombie titles had drawn a little inspiration for that but i couldn't say like for certain um there was the other one besides the Black Panther and the zombies that oh, I saw in there. We got some uh, Captain Carter and then yeah, uh, um, Captain Carter is cool. Or um, some Iron Man changes. In that was the well. one that that was the one I liked. Was what if it looks like it's gonna be what if Killmonger saved Iron uh, saved Tony Stark before he came yeah. Iron Man. Oh so, yeah, because some of the Funko Pops I released were I can't remember what the character was. Um, I could probably look it up real quick, but. Yeah, so know, there man. was that. Oh, and then there was the um, Gamora, I guess, uh, what if Thanos kind of thing as well. Yeah, I'm still not 100% sure even what that is because it looks like it has a whole mix of besides her, the other Guardians as well, and a bunch of other stuff. I mean, it looks good, though. I'm, I'm excited for it. Honestly, Marvel's really been knocking it out of the park this year with pretty much everything they've been doing. So, I'm definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, so I, I definitely can't wait. It was supposed to be out next next month, right? The eleventh, yeah. So literally a month from today. Okay. Uh, August so 11th. there's we'll be... one one Funko Pop where it's kind of Gamora, and they they're saying it's Gamora, daughter of Thanos, but she's holding Thanos's. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that's I'm sure it'll go. be some like um, a line where she stays with Thanos or something. There's um, that. And there's the Doctor Strange Supreme What If Funko Pop that's coming out. So, I guess what if he was the Sorcerer Supreme already? I don't know. I don't. I don't know yeah, I, that one looked interesting like, though. And that's why I said there's some in there that we obviously got and already kind of know the premise and plot to, yeah. both from like what we've seen in the yeah, commercial yeah. and just general stuff. But I mean, you saw one in there with the Hulk that was kind of unexplained, and maybe he's just part of another one. Uh, but there were a lot of little interesting things you can go back clip by clip and just see these little stories. And I'm sure the way they're doing it is probably a six episode. The way they've been doing, they've been in six episodes for their series. So I'm guessing six episodes, each thirty minutes or forty five minutes of an individual what if scenario, or maybe two in one episode. I'm not sure, but that yeah, that would be my guess. Um, the last two were uh, the what if the Hydra Stomper. So it kind of looks like a Hydra. Hydra kinda wins kind of. But he's wearing like almost kind of that classic Iron Man outfit from the first movie. Um, there was that. And then there was the what if uh, King Killmonger. Um, so I don't know if that means he's the Black Panther in this one. So we'll see. Uh -oh. I want to see how this all is going to play out. It's, uh, I'm excited to see the, the series. And um. There's no Marvel Zombie uh, Funko Pops, unfortunately. <laughs> but well, they've been doing their own comic versions of them already Yeah, right for now, a while, so. yes. Yeah, so, uh, I, mean, I, so I was like, eh, they probably won't do them just because they've been doing them now. They, they may still um, end up doing one or two if they get popular enough, you know what I mean? Uh, but, uh, yeah. let's see. Well, well um, I guess I was going to say on my other list uh, here, was there anything that you kind of was 
really I'm... excited for that was that uh, you know these last two weeks i guess it's been <laughs> uh there's been all kinds of stuff coming out man you had that resident evil animated thing that came out I, that, yeah i have to watch i, I saw a little bit i still gotta watch more of it but i watched a little bit of it with my brother and then on the side and it was cool man i was enjoying it um obviously black widow uh which was pretty good go watch that tomorrow as well we'll have to go check that out you'll you'll have to tell me what you think uh there's definitely missed opportunities and some heavy bungling in some areas but overall i mean they they did their standard kind of formula and it works man like they they very much look at the character decide what the character's motivation or character story arc is going to be both tone wise and character wise and then go with it and i think they did a pretty good job on this uh there are definitely changes to the original comic stuff but yeah. most of the problems are in like i said i don't want to ruin it for you before you go in and like try, jade your perspective at all uh but i think most of the problems in it come in like the second half of the movie okay but yeah well i'll definitely let you know how what i think of this yeah, one yeah, yeah. uh um, um, but, um, yeah, in my opinion, it's probably seven or eight out of 10 as usual nice. for a Marvel standard. Nice. Uh, I heard, um, it made some pretty good money for, I mean, the it's the f- last, we kind of, kn- there were, we knew this was going to make some money for a couple reasons. One, it was getting a theater release, which a movie yeah. really oh. hasn't gotten in a year, like a big, what was the last big movie theater release? Did Wonder Woman Doesn't... come out in theaters? Or, no, right? It was streaming. That was all streamed. Yeah, yep. that one. That, yep. They finally uh, Godzilla. Made Godzilla. Uh, no, that was. Oh, you know what? No, no, that one I went to go see in the theaters. That was with. Uh, but that one was with theaters, limited theaters. theaters, wasn't it? Um, I don't know. Um, I, I think it was because I think I don't think it was fully open yet until roughly yeah, April. That might. Yeah, that might have been true. That's, yeah, because that's right, just yeah, my guess. Not, we, yeah, not, not to take that. away from Black Widow at all. I'm just you know trying to measure the the things. No. Um, and then the other it's thing like, is it's it's oh, good to kind of just seem that like things are somewhat kind of going back to normal. I guess oh, yeah. is what I want to say is like I'm yeah. kind of happy that. Uh, and I'm super excited for some of the new DC titles coming, such as Suicide Squad from James Gunn. And I mean, it's just going it, to, it, it looks. The one, McFarlane it's... toys look pretty cool. Have you seen those? I haven't checked them out yet. Um, yeah, he's been just... releasing some, a couple of them. I'll have to do that, though, because once again, one, I like most of the characters. Most, some of the characters like Peacemaker are kind of like secondary and are now getting a spotlight, which is cool. I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm yeah. sure John Cena is going to be a great, oh, fun I to watch piece. I love but, watching John but, Cena. Um, I don't know why. I just see he, well, everything he does. He, and the, the thing I great. like about James Gunn, as much as, once again, it's so funny to me because people were, you know, like the, the DC guys, there's all oh, Marvel movies are for kids and there's so much. But I guarantee you there's going to be a shit ton of comedy in this Suicide Squad. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, with no doubt. And the, the, the thing I love about James Gunn as a director is he is very good at, like, making comedy arrive naturally from characters' interactions. There doesn't – no one needs to tell a joke necessarily, but, you know, Drax acting like Drax, you can't see me. Or, <laughs> you know, you know, acting in character in these ways or in these very interactions should naturally lead to comedic moments because life is – you know, up and down is comedy and tragedy or whatever is the Greek pr- playwrights think. But I don't know, man. I'm excited for it. Once again, uh, in general, I honestly can't think of a James Gunn movie I don't like. So yeah, he's always done some good ones. I liked yeah. his uh, Brightburn movie. Yep. Good. I liked his uh, Slither movie. Good. Um, yeah, I mean, he's done a lot of movies that I I do always enjoy. Yeah, I said, um, even even when he doesn't hit it out of the park, I just – it's a good movie. It's an enjoyable – you know what I mean? He never makes a movie that's boring. Yeah. yeah, He never makes something that's boring to watch, which is 90% the most important thing. And like I said, I, I was a bit roughed up because some of the recent stuff was uh, – People just always find something to complain about about every movie, man. Like any little thing. And I'm just like, look, you got to realize some of the differences between structures on these movies. Like – this is not, you know, Black Widow is not Iron Man 3, and I don't care how many people try to spin it because of their personal dislike. There's just a difference in quality of writing and and uh, level of execution on the plot. Uh, and the same goes for some other ones, right? Like, I feel like, um, like I said, I feel like Watchmen always catches flack for being exactly what it's... 
It's. I think it's good. I mean, you'll have to tell me what you think. I have the comic book, and I still haven't even read. Oh, yeah, you might need trade. to. You might. You might want to read before you watch, because. I might. Yeah, I want to read the Pride just, of the Trade first, and then, yeah, that's what I was, that, that was my, my idea. Suggestion. Yeah, that would but, be my only I'll suggestion. But it, in my opinion, it's a good. That's one of. That is my favorite Zack Snyder movie by far. Is Watchmen. Not, it's not even close. Uh, the next closest one is Three Hundred, which is like a point or two under it. Because yeah. for it's me, Watchmen is like. For me, Watchmen is an eight or a nine, at minimum, because it's just really well made. I think it does a really good job of doing the comic book justice, and the tone of the movie matches the tone of the comic book, which is not an easy thing to do with Watchmen. Um, yeah, but um, no, like there's there's a bunch of movies that kind of catch that flack. Uh, what else has been coming out that's good though? Well, the one thing I was pretty, I think, most excited for was the. Uh, I know they announced this, but they finally gave us some kind of. Somewhat of a trailer, or sne- I guess sneak sneak peek of behind the scenes of everything right now. Uh, that Star Wars Visions, which is oh, that okay, uh, yeah. the anime animated anthology one, yeah. that yeah, they're that doing, and they have like literally, I think they had like maybe seven or nine studios that were all involved, like each going to do an episode. So but I was it like, makes, oh, it makes sense with Star Wars, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I mean, oh, something. some of the stuff that they were showing, you should check it out. Like, some of the sneak peek stuff, like, oh, it, it looks so good. Like, I can't wait to see, like, everyone's different vision. Like, one person was going, like, all Japanese style with it. One person was going, like, all kind of, like, crazy anime, like, you know, outrage. Like, it was cool. I just really can't wait to see everyone's uh, ideas and what they're going to come up with and all that. Um, definitely, yeah, check out the trailer if you can. I kind of, like I said, it got me excited. And I think it's coming out as well. Ooh, I think it's supposed to come out September. I want to say, September. Um, August or September, but it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty soon, around the corner, pretty much. Um, what else did I see? Um, have you seen that uh, movie uh, Pro? Uh, what's it called? Proma, Pro Man. Pro Man. I can't remember what it's called. What's it about? Um, it's about these firefighters, like extreme, over the top firefighters that are fighting these um, aliens that are made out of fire that come out of the sea. <laughs> and Never. So- I've heard oh, there's an anime like that out. called Fire Force, kind of. But oh, yeah, Fire never. Force! It's yeah, there's that one, but there's this other one. That, oh, you gotta check it out. It's a movie. It's called. Uh, it's I think uh, you have HBO Max, right? Yeah. Oh, check it out. It's called Premiere, I think. Uh, on on uh, HBO, it should be on there still. But oh, the animation on there is so good. You know who I think made it was the guys who did Ger, uh, Gurren Logan, and that's why I was such a fan of it. Uh, but yeah, it's called Promare, P R O uh, M A R E. Um, you've maybe seen the promotion trailers or maybe pictures of it, um, but it, it, it's definitely got kind of like that Gurren Logan style. Um, but if you got HBO Max, definitely check it out on there. Oh, you know uh, what? I have seen the ads for this. I I saw the at least the cover. I remember the cover for this. Okay. Yeah, definitely check it out. I really, I mean, I enjoyed it. Like, it was. Oh, well, if it's cool made by the guys who made Gurren Longan, it's probably pretty good. Yeah. So, so you're different like that. I think that they had this this same studio doing a Star Wars episode as well. So that I was like, does. ooh, because you could tell like the same art style. One of the behind the scenes I was like, that looks like that studio. So <laughs> we'll see. I uh, I'll have to look, go into a little bit deeper and see who they are because I you know I don't really pay attention to that kind of stuff. Makes <laughs> <laughs> the animes or stuff. Um. But other than that, I think that was kind of my most uh, excited thing that um, that we talked, you know, since last week was just the vision stuff uh, from Star Wars, and then um, I know we um, did yep. go see Boss Baby last week as well. Oh, how was that? Really it was good. You know, I actually liked it. Is that number um, two or three in yeah, the series? Yeah, no, it's number two so far. Okay. Um, they. Did they, oh, do they, 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 they do a mini series on Netflix. Yeah, they did. They did do mini series, which wasn't too bad that. either. Um, but the, oh, right. the they could maybe pull out a third one. I don't know. I think number two is probably the last one they're probably gonna do on this That's... one. Uh, but you never know. They, they they might just pull out the third one. <laughs> they'll probably just make a Netflix series again, man. Who knows? That's what. I, or, yeah. or maybe they'll do. Yeah, they did uh... like five seasons of it. Yeah, they there's yeah. like five seasons of so, Baby on Netflix. Yeah, which is hey, I'm not against it. I mean, I'm excited. I, the one I want to check out right now on um, HBO Max that's on my list is the. New Monsters Inc. animated one. Oh, definitely check that out. Disney Plus, yeah, it's great. Or it's, Disney uh, Plus, that's what it's on. Yeah, we uh, we watched the first two episodes so far, and uh, I liked it because I think I think it is the same voice actors from what I heard the 
they were talking about it was supposed to be I John could, Goodman was coming back. I was going to say, I could probably tell you if I hear him, but it's probably in the credits, too. So Yeah, I, if she's in my shed, check the credits before. I wasn't Here, we, I we can, it should be real quick. But, um, yeah, that, um, they only, if it is them, it's, it probably most likely is them because they, they only have like a few scenes within the, the yeah, show. Yeah, I figured they'd be about the other monsters, which is cool. I'm totally fine with it because it literally just takes place right after the movie. <laughs> That's <laughs> the cool. first one. Right, right. Um, yeah, it looks like it's Billy Crystal and John Goodman. So it looks nice. like it's the original voice actors, which so, makes sense. Yeah. I mean, they're. I mean, it's Disney, man. It'd be one. Why wouldn't you want to get the publicity and money for yeah. most of Disney? Unless you've really got it super made, like Samuel Jackson or you know a really long-standing big actor. Um, Otherwise, I, I mean, shit, who wouldn't want to work in a Disney film, man? Like, or, or a production. There's just so much good stuff they've been making, too. Like, as much as I hate Monopolies and stuff, they've been doing a good job with pretty much every title they put out. That, you know, you know people, people were pissy. I, I, would, um, I would hope that they have the same, you know, that the people that work there have the same vision that Walt, you know, Disney basically had of wanting to, you know, create this wonderland for children and even adults to love and like and right. I would, well and i think, know i, I was gonna say, again i would just oh, oh go ahead go ahead my bad i was gonna say i think you're right on that but more to the nowadays the point that they've even like you said maybe not so much disney's dream of a child wonderland but they've kind of got into the set of you know giving the fans of whatever genre whether it's kids or adults yeah. or whatever and just giving them you know their what they want and knowing you know what that culture is because i mean once again star wars had a rough start with the movies obviously but i don't think anybody can really put both seasons of the mandalorian were amazing um bad batch has been really good um bad so far right now man it's been such a great show i'm, I'm telling Finley you man. john for a Ferrara, like they yeah, they understand no. the fans for yeah. sure oh you know it's so funny now that we're talking about those guys uh, for HBO, or HBO uh, Hasbro, uh, Pulse, because they're not doing like a San Diego Comic Con really still. Uh, Hasbro's doing their own Pulse Con, which they did last year, but they're coming out with a Dave Fillion action figure, and he's in his like star, he's in the Starfighter outfit That's and funny. everything. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got, I'm going to have to probably pick that up. And <laughs> you know, some people are even commenting, like, well, where's, where's his cowboy hat? <laughs> I don't know why that reminded me, but it just reminded me of one of the funniest little cameos Mar uh, in comics recently, which was um, they made Kevin Fade show up at the Hellfire Gala. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, didn't, it, I had to see that because I still have It's uh, very... I, I, I wouldn't have noticed it even if I hadn't seen like an article about it where they're like, hey, check okay. out this nod. And I was like, oh shit, that is him. But it's because I don't like... Know yeah. what he looks like to you know yeah. like I know what he looks like if I see him see him but then to see him as a comic character I wasn't gonna recognize him. Yeah. <sighs> but no, funny. it was it was a cool one like that. The they've been good, man. I've been I don't know I I know a lot of people aren't happy with the X Men right now like a lot of people are up and down but I like Jonathan Hickman's writing style and his style of character development and honestly he's put so much more character building and world building into the x-men than honestly almost any other author besides claremont like he's just tying up all of it so well adding so much into the mix and then like defining what a lot of it really means on like mm -hmm. a very very structured level so i don't know man i've been really impressed with his handling of that's good. The mutant. I, like I said, I still got to catch up on tons of X Men still. But that's um, still the problem is too many damn titles, man. They just should have cut. They, I think they're um, they're canceling a couple. They this did September. Yeah, you know, they they more. they had already canceled a couple, and it makes sense. To be fair, I think a lot of them are meant to be short yeah. runs. You know what I mean? Like fifteen. They they kind of accomplish what they're meant to accomplish. They add to the larger story. Um. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I'm very interested to see because it's a little different than when he did Fantastic Four because Fantastic Four had way fewer titles for him to kind of have to juggle and play around with. He's got more characters, yeah, for sure with this. Um, yeah. But uh, for Netflix, I don't know if you've seen, they have this really outrageous movie. Um, what was it called? It's called... Uh... Oh, America the Motion Picture. <laughs> 
<laughs> definitely check it out. I'm sure that's uh, a blast. J J Jason T uh, Tatum is voicing George Washington. Um, we have like some other uh, big name actors, and it's it's ridiculously funny. It's like yeah, it's <laughs> they say that, that it sounds um, like it's a big fun one. Like it's it's a really one. yeah, like they it's a really jokey. So they have like um. George or not George, uh, Abraham Lincoln's in there. Uh, they have him kind of like as a force ghost because you know, you know he dies. <laughs> and, uh, so Lincoln, and, and, and George Washington, do? they're like br they've been like brothers for life. Like so, George Washington and Abraham Lincoln like grew up together and they knew they knew each other and stuff. So they I don't know, they kind of have a mix of like modernized uh, with like the Revolution time kind of all mixed together. <laughs> In this like big hodgepodge of like, <laughs> it sounds like and, it's a wild ride. <laughs> it's pretty good. You check it out there. No, oh, there's even like this part where there's like a RoboCop kind of horse person, and you uh, you have to see how that all happens. <laughs> you like, know what it um, sounds like? It sounds like Kung Kung Fury, but for it's kind of like kind of revolution. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like that, but even I think even more outrageous because it's animated, so they could just do oh, it's do animated. More. Okay, they could, they could do yeah. Sorry, it's I forgot to say it's animated, so they can even do more stupid stuff in the, in which they yeah. do. So there's That's there's cool. werewolves, there's yeah, there's there's so much stuff, bro. Just check check it out. I think you might like it. I thought they even kind of make fun of like you know like how our how our history is of America, how we got here, but then he kind of just says, well, but. We know what we did wrong. We gotta just keep going. <laughs> but we'll just figure it out later. So, That's but fun. yeah, it's so definitely check that out. I had to watch that. Um, there was some new stuff, movies, I guess. Wise the Star Wars, like I said. I know um, that we're getting ready for some Demon Slayer season two. Finally, um, got some good action of that trailer coming out. Oh, you know the messed up um, part is there's just not gonna be. There's maybe two or three more seasons of Demon Slayer. It's a very short manga, relatively speaking. Yeah, unfortunately. I, yeah, and I'm kind of, sometimes I'm happy with those ones, you know, the ones that I, are. Oh, I, I like it. Once again, I I enjoyed Demon Slayer for like most of its run in the manga. There's That's it good. for me. It did what Fairy Tale and uh... Fairy Tale was good. I really loved it, but then I seriously towards like that the last yeah. like their last season yeah. or two, mm -hmm. it they just it was like not ex and, executed well, and like the yeah. story, I just didn't like the ending. Yep, and. uh... Once again, everyone's going to have their own opinions, but uh, that's kind of how I felt in some ways about the ending for Demon Slayer, for different reasons. Um, I think my other thing is, like, I, I have a tough time with certain ones like Demon Slayer and Attack on Titan because they rely a ton on shock value, which is cool, but I've read some really fucked up manga before, so it takes a lot to kind of, like, shock me into being like impressed by like yeah. a shock factor for manga at least like for movies i'm real easy but for the manga like i mean i read berserk was like one of my first manga ever and it's one of the darkest manga you can read easily um there are others like um gantz is pretty messed up and a couple of others but not not sociologically like berserk is it's all fucked up and then the uh -huh. other shock value is like anime gets crazy i still can never remember the name of the anime but there's just an anime where the first episode everybody dies like everyone dies and the rest of the season is just explaining how they get to that point so it's just like yeah kill the main character let's figure out how we got there um having said that i really liked a lot of the things in demon slayer it was it's literally the only like maybe the last 20 chapters of demon slayer i didn't enjoy as much i didn't like it. yeah I, love, I love, really love the animation, the art style of it. The thing is, the animation on the anime, like, anime side is just superb and spectacular. Like, yeah. Yeah, you could just is. watch it. You wouldn't even... Who cares about the story, honestly, for the anime? The, the fucking animation is worth the watch. You know what I mean? And then the story is pretty good, too. So, yeah, as far as the anime, oh. um, yeah, it's just pretty... I mean, it's pretty solid all around uh as far as animation and everything it's just got one of the new good studio not new but like the new well, good did, art did style the, the president was uh getting in uh because <laughs> <laughs> he was invading his taxes supposedly i don't know this is this just came out hey, like man it's it's rich people everywhere right yeah <laughs> but hey but i yeah, mean i find the hilarious <laughs> that is that is oh. funny a little messed up but hey look at, like, you oh. know <laughs> 
the big uh, brothers watching, oh. man. <laughs> yeah, always. Um, so Adam's Family too, as well, is coming out October first, and did you see that trailer as well? The, uh, the animated. Yes. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Uh, it looks right. I mean, I've always liked Adam's Family, so I'll, I'll watch any Adam's Family thing. Right. I think as long as they get the characters right, you could do them in any style. Because obviously, it's a more, it's an even more kind of cartoonish, ridiculous style than the original. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, like a more... It, it kind of reminds me a little bit of some Tim Burton style, honestly. Yeah, a little bit, a little Just bit, a, yeah. A little fusion. The, the people are a little round. You know what I mean? Like their bodies. And CGI instead of the normal claymation or puppets. Yeah, obviously, but the, I just mean you know the shapes of people as opposed to the actual uh, animation. People are usually uh have exaggerated proportions on purpose right to give that kind of almost creepy or alien horrorish feel which is good i mean i like it um but it's definitely different than you know rhythm original adams family cartoons or when we used to see adams family scooby-doo or you know yeah. in those old cartoony styles so i, I think it'll yeah. be good man I, like like you said i like everything adams family so <laughs> yeah that's uh, that's just how i always am um the one thing I was most really excited about uh, also, too, was the um, – did you hear that Ron Perlman is going to be Optimus Primal for a, I did a hear that, yeah. Action, That'll uh, be cool. Forest movie. That, like, that's oh. going to be interesting for sure. I mean, I like Ron Perlman as an actor. I still wish they had given him some more Hellboy love. Don't get me wrong. I like I, – yeah. I was pretty decent on the new Hellboy, too. It had its, you know, its own issues just like any other. But it wasn't bad. Um, I wish somebody gave him their number three to finish off that that series. But he oh really well. should, yeah, just gave him the third one to finish it. And they could have, honestly, they could have found a way to put Ron Perlman in the new Hellboy. You know, even if he wasn't Hellboy himself, it would have just yeah. been a really nice professional and fan nod. I guarantee you, they would have sold more tickets if they had put him in some kind of minor role. Um, but. You know, I, I, I don't know the logistics behind that, whether it was Ron, them, etc. So I know yeah. they wanted someone uh, new. So so let me get the title then for everyone. So it's going to be Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited how they're going to do the Transformer Beasts uh, characters, if they'll do them, um, the Maximals and the Predacons, if they'll do them like more like animal, like, you know, how they were in the CGI show, or if they're going to go more of like the robot kind of one when they did Kind of when they did that Transformers Beast Sport, what was it called? Beast, I can't remember, but it was when they went back to Cybertron and they yeah. were like more kind of robot than than animal. So I wonder if they'll go that route or more the actual kind of they look like animals. Yeah, um, I don't know. Like I guess it'll depend on the plot and maybe and some other yeah. stuff. But and like if it's all gonna be just the Beast War characters, if they will do, because I was hearing that um, I think Peter is it Peter Colin that does the. Optimus, I can't remember who the original Optimus guy is for the movies, but I think he was supposed to be coming back as well for this new one. So again, I don't know if they're just involving these like as a side story, these characters. Uh, we'll see when we get more, I guess, uh, details about it. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. you know, the, it was funny that you were saying Scooby Doo and all that stuff. There's a movie supposed to be coming out, I think, a straight to DVD though. Um, it's gonna be the Scooby Doo meets the Courage the Cowardly Dog movie. I have heard of that one. That one's gonna be real. <laughs> I did see the crossover for that, and I I can't wait to see because my my assumption is it's going to be a very classic cheesy crossover, and I'm totally fine with that. Like I'm totally good with it being that way, because then you know you'll just get a bunch of, you know, uh, jinkies mixed with, you know. Uh, it, it'll be fun, and it'll also be fun to, uh, hopefully, I'm not sure if all the voice actors are still alive, um, for the, yeah, I, I both casts, etc. And obviously, uh, scooby Doo's has gone through voice changes, so. I think the guy who did, uh, Eustace, yeah. Eustace is dead, yeah, I, I think, think he so. passed away. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what they'll do, and how good they'll mm -hmm. do, uh, you know, I hope they do the good, the animation for Courage, his you know, they really exaggerate. <laughs> it's like, eh, screams and everything. And yeah, all that, so. I, that's going to be what I wonder most is how they're going to mix the animation. But, I mean, the, we've seen them do interesting styles together before. And, I mean, you know, it, I, I, I really don't see it being an issue trying to mix their animation styles. We have the technology and the artists today that should be able to handle it. 
I'm glad that we're gonna get some more courage finally after like what <laughs> ten <probably> years <laughs> at least at least ten years. When was the let's see when did the last Courage the Car Cowardly Dog episode? Uh... Why are you looking that up too? Did you watch the Good Omen show on Am Amazon Prime? Uh, Good Omen. Yes, the um. Yes, I did. <laughs> Season two is coming out now. Oh, cool! I didn't know if they were gonna get one. I really hope so because it was a really good uh, series, and I was enjoying the shit out of it. I liked it. I liked it as well too. So yeah, Neil Gaiman Game posted not too long ago about it, and he's he's super excited. Yeah, for Ooh, maybe I'll go back more and uh, again. good omens. <laughs> um, oh, uh, Clifford the Big Red Dog is also coming out this September. I heard I heard that was supposed to come out last year. So that was one of those movies that got held back as well from COVID. Holy shit, uh, this has actually been a while. So apparently, um, the last episode of Courage aired in 2002. Wow, so it's been a long time. They they did have a special on October 31st, 2014. What was that special for? I don't know. Huh. Special. Um, the Fog of Courage, when Courage finds... Oh, I do remember this one. When F Courage finds a mysterious amulet while digging through a yard, a ghostly fog covers the farmhouse. Eustace refuses to return the amulet. Uh, That's apparently an old blown. one, though. Wasn't that one of their first episodes? I think it's a remake, then. It must be a special. Oh, oh it's CGI oh. animated episode. Oh, uh, I've never seen that one, then. Huh. It, it must have. It only came out once, and it was produced as a pilot for a potential CGI revival of Courage the Cowardly Dog. Really? Okay, okay. Because yeah, that is. Thought... I'm. They probably do, but yeah, you're right. That's the pilot episode, uh, with the old weird haired thing. Yeah. Um. I mean, yeah. I, I'm excited for it. Once again, it's been 20 years since we got new Courage. Pretty much. So, dreams do come true. I did my waiting. Twelve years of it. So yeah, I was excited for that. Uh, some news on movies on that. Um, what other movie news did I hear? So Good Omens, I, like I said, um, Candyman finally will be coming out August 27th. Um, Halloween Kills will also be coming out this October. Uh, that was which are also those two movies were supposed to come out last year, uh, but because of COVID, um, these all got pushed back to this you know, year. I still don't think um, I've seen the new original for you know the remake Candyman. So I'm oh, gonna check that okay. one out. Yeah, but, definitely check I mean, that I'm, one out. Your uh, uh, Peel's gotten pretty good reviews on his horror stuff, so I guess yeah, I'll I like all his it. movies. Uh, Get Out, um, Us was good, even though it's kind. Of, it th that one kind of was a thinker, but I liked it. Which one? Uh, was for that? what that was, that was the one where um, the family uh, went and then they ended up having like counterparts of themselves. Uh, yeah, 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 that one is actually pretty good. Yeah, I like that one um, pretty pretty well. So there was that, and then um, let me see what else I had here on my list. I hate when everything disappears. <laughs> um, I don't think we oh. got a ch Oh, go ahead. Sorry. So I was just going to say, uh, also on Amazon Prime, if you want to check out Chris Pratt's new movie that he came out with, uh, The Tomorrow War. Um, I liked it for what it was. I heard some people were kind of not liking uh, too much of it. It's basically a future time time. I mean, machine yeah, it sound, yeah, it sounds, in, you know, like a time-based one uh i was just trying to figure out if i'd heard of it before and i just don't think i've seen anything for it and i never heard anything about it either too that's that was also the funny thing until it was just like hey it's released on there so I was like, okay. yeah well, there you go sometimes that's the way they go um i think that was the one we didn't get to talk about because it released on our break weeks was the eternals trailer had come out too a little while back oh yeah yeah that yeah um I, that looked good. Um, I can't wait to see what that's all gonna. How that's yeah, all gonna I just have no clue what they're gonna do with them. I, yeah, I like the Eternals, but I honestly feel like it's kind of along the lines of the Inhumans. In that they need to impress people, or they're not gonna catch it. And I've, I'm glad they went with a movie because I think that's where they fucked up with the Inhumans versus Guardians of the Galaxy. I think if they put a movie budget behind the Inhumans instead of a, a low TV budget, that show could have done a lot better. I think actually was the whole plan. Remember when they first announced the Oh, Inhumans? no, they was always going to be. It was supposed to be a movie. They, it was. was supposed to be a two-parter movie. And then, for whatever reason, they were like, no, we're going to do a TV show now. Well, because um, it wasn't with... was it, Who was actually... Where was it actually on? It wasn't... It was before it was Disney ABC. Plus. 
Yeah. yeah, it was ABC because that's where they'd put all their stuff. And was it, it actually MCU was my other thing, or did Inhumans belong to someone else? I think it was MCU. They were trying to, and then they ended up just kind of scrapping the whole thing. And yeah, well, that was about it again. <laughs> the funny thing is, I think it was part of their big because they had that whole time in Marvel where everything was going geared towards the Inhumans. The comics, the TV shows, the movies were starting to push towards it. And then, like, it just kind of fell flat, I guess. I don't know what happened in the planning phase, because... Well, yeah, because, you know, when they came out with the show, it, it really didn't do great. You know, like, we didn't like it. We definitely were not enjoying it. I guess, yeah, said it, it was it, it, really <coughs> bad, where they just kind of just kind of said, this we never did, actually, guys. Don't worry about it. The well, humans, what? The what? Well, what didn't make sense to me was, once again, they geared everything towards it and then, like, cut short. Before they did the movie, and instead did a TV show, and See, that, yeah, that like I said, why did they do that? I don't know I just, why. Yeah, there must have that. been something. There must have been a plan, at some point, to like have them be the flagship for a while. Maybe they thought they was too many characters to do in a movie, and they I wanted think to do maybe, more characters I, and focus I think episodes just, on each character. I don't know. Who knows? My guess were. is they just weren't seeing the results they were hoping for. I'm guessing, like in comic sales, maybe, or in TV, because they did t test it out in comics and TV. With Shield and, and I, I read some of the Inhumans comics, but they were, I don't know, they were okay. There was some good ones. I did like real some good, Black Bolt comics. Yeah, Bla Black Bolt comics are good comics, not Inhuman comics. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if it's they were all right. Like I enjoyed the section of time by like X Men versus Inhumans, but you know, it's kind of funny now is that there's no Inhuman stuff at all now. No, though, so. nothing at all. They've basically been relegated to. I haven't even heard anything like in any of the books for a while. Like, where's Black no, Bolt? I wonder if there the... might have been legal issues or something else. I don't know. It's it's definitely interesting though, because we yeah, like you said, for you know they they're gone. Like I can't think of they didn't show up in King and Black. They didn't because Black Bolt wasn't there. No. But I think they've been in Shi'ar space since the end of Death of the it was Inhumans. Something, yeah, because I can't remember what happened in that. that uh... Well, I remember that, you know, they had their war with the Kree or whatever, and then Black Bolt became like the actual universal king of the Inhumans. You know what I mean? Where he was. was no. So I think yeah, yeah, he's there in Shi'ar or something. When was that? That was like, what, three years ago when that came out? Oh, God. Probably, yeah, 2018 or 19. Um, yeah, November 2018, so late 2018. Yeah. And honestly, since then... Danny Cage wrote that story too, didn't he? Um... The Death of the Inhumans? I gotta say, right now it's only showing me the penciler. Pretty sure uh, he did that one. Written by, yep, Donny Cates. Which is kind of rough, because once again, it was a good series, and then right after it, it was just... No more Inhumans. It was it was almost like random, but or intentional. I don't know. It must be intentional because um, my guess is that they just were not selling the way Marvel said their sales. Yeah. I, uh, that and then yeah. now that they got their X Men stuff back, I think they probably put high gear back on. Oh, absolutely. I think that was because when did the X stuff start? Like early two thousand or two thousand twenty. So a year after that or something. Yeah. That, that's... Yeah, cause right, yeah, right after they got their and, rights back. And right after Death of the Inhumans, didn't we move into War of the Realms? Or was that the year af bef after that? No, that would have been April to July 2019. So we were gearing yeah. up for War of the Realms, and then we moved from War of the Realms into... I think into the X-Men stuff. Because Dawn of X was all the way from, like... There was that. Remember, you had the Dawn of X and then the Powers of X or whatever, and they both had a six-issue run, so it was like twelve total weeks. Yeah, I don't know. Were basically, you had to read them one by one. So you have to read that one first, and you read the next one, then you read the Power of X, and then read the next <laughs> issue in the line. Yeah, uh, which was which, fine with me. I thought that was cool. It wasn't too bad, honestly. I didn't mind be one because they didn't both release every week. If they both released every week, I think it would have been more of a pain in the ass to just pick up the both books in addition to whatever else you were grabbing. But because they were week by week, it did, you know, pull the story out a little and take a while. Oh, you also had Absolute Carnage. That's yeah, what, that what else you had. Too. 
So we had a, just these kind of things where they bounced right back. So I guess maybe it's just the fact that everybody else has been getting the spotlight. You know what I mean? Like you had Thor, the then, uh, and then obviously, um, when did Endgame come out? 2018, right? Or 2019? Endgame, yeah, it was actually I probably think 18. I think so. And so like they were also just gearing up for the end of Phase Four. No, 2019, because it was early. What's it? early 2019 in like okay, okay. A- april or may or something i think yeah, you're right because then we lost that whole year of what would have would have been you know all, right all uh, of 2020 is just movie deficit because uh, um but yeah it was cool i was gonna say my last two movie things here was the, disney's coming out with another uh mexican kind of type style animated movie but it's not I being did... done by pixar um, yeah, what well, I did hear about that. Um, I think it was in Sado, I can't remember what the whole. What was it called? Encanto, I think. Is yeah, what called. that's yeah. It should be um, cool. So that one, yeah, we'll definitely check that out. That one, uh, Disney always does pretty good animation stuff. And then yeah, one thing that yeah. was kind of like not excited for, but I was like, well, I knew that was gonna happen. But they did the. Uh, they're bringing back Elmer Fudd's uh, gun back for season two in the HBO Max. They shouldn't have just no. never took it away. Come on. He's a hunter. This is not... Look, I, I'm i all for practical and whatever gun control, but... Yeah, that's fine with me, but, like, come on, guys. Like, that's that's taking it too much. Right, you're, 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 you're too sensitive now. Come on. Like, uh... He hunts rabbits. Yeah. I don't know. And nobody ever dies in Looney Tunes, so it's it's not even a... They get shot in the face all the time. They're fine. <laughs> the face is still there, but it's just all black because they got powder all over it. <laughs> or it's, or you know, Daffy Duck's bill gets pushed all the way to the other side. Whatever. One of those ones. It's fine, you know. If anything, um, they should be mad about that. It's like, you're, you're displaying that children that can shoot each other in the face. No. People just, they're just bitch about anything man that's cool that's cool uh, and i'm glad they're back honestly i'm i wouldn't have been sure because people are so whiny today they may have kept complaining but yeah yeah um uh, did you see did we talk about the e3 stuff uh, on our last cast because they i know they had our they had e3 um, uh i thought we had talked about some of it but not on that okay i don't okay. know i don't well, know we i know we about just, all of it yeah, yeah there's a ton of stuff on that we'll probably have to do on our next one um, we could talk about some uh, games on the next cast. Yeah, that's that should be fine. And uh, we should be good for next week. So, and then uh, I guess the only other things I really had to say was uh, Hasbro came out with a bunch of their uh, Pulse Gun figures that they're coming out with. They're coming out with a Cantina uh, playset with uh, Obi Wan Kenobi and uh, the uh, some of the other characters that you know he's fighting in the in the bar with Luke and everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so they, they have that coming out, and like I said, the um, oh, a Venom animated uh, figure from the '90s. That wow. so like it's really looks really cool. Because, like because they did like a cell shaded thing with him, so he really has got that blue red thing in half with him. So really, he looks like basically from the show, nice. with that animated style. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, they got that one. They announced um, toys. I haven't heard anything from NECA. Um, oh, <laughs> they're coming out with like an Elvis. Modoc character, but I guess he was in one of the comics. Um, it, it's from uh, a scene from Next Wave issue number <coughs> two. Um, and Modoc's like literally and uh, looking like Elvis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've hamburger they've done buns a... out of his that, lace. That, <laughs> that is actually an old school Modoc one. So yeah, I, I have seen that one. So yeah, they're coming out with that an exclusive uh, Modoc figure. Um, but other than that, I think. Oh, the other big thing I guess that we can just say really quick about games is that uh, Switch announced or Nintendo announced their new Switch uh, OLED is what they're calling it. A lot of people I know weren't pretty pleased or happy with it because they were really expecting like a pro version of the Switch because really, I guess they did say there is no graphical updates or anything mm-hmm. like that in the Switch, like or anything really. The only thing that makes a difference now they're giving it an OLED screen. Um, they're making it a little bit more uh, bigger, the screen as well, so you're getting more play on your space on your, when you're on your handheld. Um, when else? Joy-Cons are basically the same. There was no updates to the Joy-Cons, which mm. kind of sucks because I know people have been complaining about Drift as well. Um, what was some of the other updates? Oh, I guess the, it comes with a new stand, so instead of that little 
cheesy little thing they had on it. It comes with, like, a full stand now. And you can, like, kind of angle it, like, lower it or higher, however you want to, you know, play with it. Right. Um, what else was there that they updated it on? Oh, they gave the docking station a uh, Ethernet port, which a lot of people are like, well, I could have just bought a USB Ethernet port and just plugged it. <laughs> and it would have worked the same that way, too. So I guess people are like, it, I, got, I don't know. And then um, what were some of the other updates? I think that was, oh, uh, improved audio as well from the Switch. Um, I, I mean, think it's... That I think that was pretty fine. much it for another fifty dollar increase on it, because um, it was three hundred for the original, and then now this one will be three fifty. Um, but again, I, like I said, some people are expecting like a pro version that was going to be able to do four K, be able to play at like sixty frames, yeah. or maybe even maybe maybe one hundred and twenty. That's probably too much, but at least sixty frames per second um, was what people are expecting. And then while do you know docked, and then maybe I don't know what it could do undocked i don't know maybe 4k i don't know that's a lot to be pushing out of that guy but yeah. um yeah that's that's what some people are expecting they were wanting that version of the switch that pro um, version of the switch my thing is i get that people want that i think they have some unrealistic expectations if they understood how hardware technology worked and how much money you would actually pay for something like that but yeah but i mean i guess i could see people's want Honestly, fifty dollars doesn't sound too terribly bad for those improvements they've made. I mean, maybe a little steep. Yeah, yeah. I was um, I was thinking of getting it, but then I was like, I don't know. I think I'm I think just it'd pass be. It yeah, I think if you already have one, you wouldn't have a reason to get it. Um, yeah. I mean, it would be nice to have a bigger screen, but then I don't really honestly play like. Like on hand, head, yeah, head, right, head, and, like, eh, and even then, like how much bigger of a screen is it? Is it, it was really not that much. It was yeah. like maybe yeah, ten percent of a, yeah, of an increase. I think they said. Good. I can't remember. Um, my thing that I think good will come out of is it should theoretically drop the price of the existing switch. Yeah, that's what some people were kind of PO'd about. Was like, well, they should have mar marketed the other ones a little bit different. Now they should have now put their switch light now even lower and then now put their regular switch now instead of the 300 price tag maybe they should have they put will it like at 280 they will it's, price they, tag. It, if it hasn't changed yet it will because nobody's gonna yeah. buy a new switch for with very very little improvements for more money it yeah. just doesn't make sense you know it's it's not maybe they will like, maybe you know people keep yeah. buying ps3 four whatever's and paying out the ass for them so People will do all kinds of dumb stuff, but really people, yeah, that's. I hope the chip shortage, you know, hopefully comes to a, an the, end. The here thing they, they need to do is, unfortunately, they got to design in something to discourage data miners from fucking, uh, or not data well, miners. Well, I uh, heard um, China miners. now. Uh, China now put a law supposedly for uh, data miners yeah, out there. Yeah, and I don't. I and as what much, it was. Yeah, and I wouldn't do a law. One, because it's America and people hate being told what not to do. I just say for the people who are designing them, design them so that they're not as efficient anymore for Bitcoin mining. And design a specific one for Bitcoin mining. That one would be, uh, would hopefully be more price effective for them anyway. So, but, um, you know, people are going to do what they're going to do. People are still going to run bots anyway to buy all the new shit out of stock and try to sell it at an upmarket uh, price. Yeah, because really, honestly, a lot of these people were, uh, they were coming from sneakers and ticket sales, really. And, now and they've, the other thing they've that they could do to... They've themselves over to comics and uh, toys and uh, now graphic cards and consoles. It's, and it sucks to do this, but what you could and do... And Pokemon cards now. <laughs> yeah. And, but what you, the other thing you could do that I think sub, uh, some uh, industries do is they... Put a maximum resale so if you're not a merchandiser you can't resell your product it's considered yeah. a final area of sale and you're not allowed to transfer it and then you know you think ebay would crack down on stuff like that but they just i don't know they just don't really care they don't even and then there's like I, there's so many stuff they like get passed by like when people are doing comic sales of a pre-order comic because um, the comic won't come out for another two or three months, so we, they, these comic stars will do their exclusive covers uh, two months ahead of time, and then they'll put their pre-orders up. And then usually some people aren't really buying to have it. They'll sell it 
uh, to do. What they'll do is they put it on eBay, and it's not even supposed to come out for two months. And you're not even supposed to do that. Like eBay's terms are saying you can't you can't sell things like that. But they they let it happen, I guess. Still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully that you know. Hopefully we get some fixes for it because it definitely yeah. is a. Yeah, issue. there's some things on the internet that definitely uh, with yeah. uh, that gets passed by. It's like, ah, oh, it sucks, but. Um, yeah, trust me, I, I feel you on that. Um, so we're probably right uh, around our time. Are yeah. there anything else we want to cover uh, specifically? No, I, think that, I think that was pretty much it. Oh, Disney Plus 2, check out the little short Simpsons uh, Loki show. I did, did hear about that. I hadn't checked it out yet, but I heard that they had done their <laughs> little MCU crossover, and yeah. I was like – they made fun Leave of it the to the Hey man, I'm all for it. I love parody. Like people are always yeah. rrr, 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 rrr. parody is one of the one of my favorite forms of comedy. Um <laughs> easily. Like I, I would watch Space Balls over Star Wars any day of the week. Yeah, I like Space Just, Balls. I, I like Space Balls. Uh but, but yeah, yeah. That's all I had for uh Alrighty. My list. um I figure we can show them an outro trailer. What are we, what are we thinking for uh Stuff that's come out or coming out, we could do. Um, didn't. Well, let's see. I guess we didn't do any games here. Now that I'm looking at it, um, shit. I don't know. Uh, whatever you'd like to show them, I guess anything new. <laughs> um, um, there was a new Metroid Dread coming out for Nintendo. They're doing Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Finally, uh. Number two is coming out. That'll be cool. Uh, uh, I think the Metroid doing... trailer would be cool when people like Metroid. Yeah, yeah, yeah that we'll... one was. Uh, people are excited for that one. Yeah, we'll go out on the Metroid trailer. I like Samus. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just me. I like female protagonists. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks to everybody who's watched, and we hope you enjoy the outro trailer. And yeah, it should be a fun, fun time. <laughs> If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.